If you wanna market your business, you need to spend time or you need to spend money on it. So you're doing the work, you're hiring someone to do it and then you're managing them or you're hiring an agency and you're paying for them. But what you can't do is you can't be lazy and not do the work. You can't be cheap and not hire someone or not hire the agency and you can't say it's too hard to do it because guess what? You do that and you're not gonna grow your business, you're not gonna market your business, you're never gonna change. So what's the alternative? If you're a startup, if you're a small business, if you have very few sales, I understand how tight things are. You have to pay for operations, you have to pay for your payroll and your staff and your products or everything that you have to pay for. But here's the problem you're making. You're thinking of sales and marketing as an expense. An expense is something where you put the dollars out and guess what? You get a little bit of something back for it but it's not paying for itself. Marketing and sales and advertising should be an investment. And that investment means that you're putting dollars forward and you're getting a return back. And that return is greater than the dollars you're putting forward. So yeah, you need to spend a little bit of money to kickstart something over the course of a few months or a half year or maybe a year. But it doesn't mean that you're not getting those dollars back eventually. And so when people are really tight for cash, when they're really strapped, they think, I need to market, I need to advertise, how do I go about this? And really, you only have three options. Do the work yourself, find the time, learn how to do this and learn how to do it well and start falling in love with the process of it. Hire someone in-house to do it for you. So find the person, hire the person, train the person, help give them the space that they need to really excel in their role and bring them onto your salary. Or go out and hire an agency and be prepared to pay what an agency costs. Now a great agency will ensure that every dollar you're spending you're getting a return on. It's an investment, not an expense. A great staff member is someone who's gonna fit into the role and really help grow that part of the company even if it's not your experience. And a great entrepreneur would take this on the chin and do the work themselves and not be so lazy. So what are you going to do? Are you gonna be a great entrepreneur, take this on the chin and do it yourself? Are you gonna go out there and hire a great staff member and do the work you need to do to find the person so they can grow it for you? Or are you gonna go out and hire a great agency so that way it's not an expense and it's an investment you're getting those dollars back. All of these things are on you. There is no easy way. There is no simple way. They're all hard. Yes, you can find a garbage agency who's just wasting your dollars. You have no idea if it's working or not. You can hire the wrong person the second, the third, the fourth time because maybe your hiring practices suck. Maybe your pay is too low. Maybe you're in an area where it's not, there's not good staff members. Of course there's all these excuses. And you as an entrepreneur can say, I don't know how to do it, I'm too old, it's not my skill set, I'm not better focused on it, I don't know what I'm doing, I have no way of learning. You don't have the option of just being lazy, you don't have the option of making excuses, you don't have the option of not spending the time or the money you need to spend to make it happen. Because if you do that, in a year or two you're going to be in the exact same place you are today. In a year or two you're going to be blaming everyone else for why these things wouldn't work because you didn't step up and do what you have to do yourself to actually grow your business. There is no easy answer. There are things that you are naturally gifted at and things that you may suck at. If you suck at sales, if you suck at marketing, you're going to be way out of your depth. So there are risks, sure. You doing it yourself is a risk, but why not take the time to learn? You hiring someone is a risk. You might find someone who, you know, frankly, you just don't know who you're hiring, but you'll learn through the second or the third or the fourth hire. You'll get better at it. Or you might hire an agency who's just wasting your time and dollars. You have no way of knowing. You don't. But all three of these start with you taking action. You being courageous. You being bold enough to say, you know what, my business isn't going to grow off of a hope and a wish and a prayer. My business isn't going to grow by some outside force just suddenly coming in and blowing us up. It's only going to grow if I start to take action. Do you know how many calls I get from people who want to do really big things, but then when I say, well, you know, if I were you, I wouldn't hire a company like mine. I wouldn't work with an agency like mine. I would go out and learn it myself and scrap to get the assets I need and I would test some stuff. And they say, well, I'm just so busy. I just don't have time and this and that. Perfect. So I'd really go out and find a really great person to bring in house. I would think about hiring a video producer or a photographer. I would think about bringing in a graphic designer or someone who's great at social or maybe a junior media placement person or a copywriter. I would think about going in and bringing those people because you got to start somewhere. And they go, yeah, but you know what? There's just like a lot of bad people out there and I don't know what to, I don't know what to pay them and I don't know, a lot of excuses. Okay, great. 
I would work with an agency like ours. We will take care of everything for you. You still have to be involved. You still have to approve things. You still have to meet with us for strategy. But when it comes to the nitty gritty, when it comes to decision making, when it comes to right sizing their ROI, we are going to act as your CMO. We're going to act as your business partner. We are going to take care of all the worrying for you. You are going to give us dollars and we are going to give you more dollars back. Marketing should be an investment. When did it become a thing to think that you can grow the awareness and the scope and the size of your business without investing in people or investing in technology or investing in advertising and marketing or sales or whatever it is? When did this become a thing? Great businesses are built off of having strength in all of the areas. Strength in operations and customer service and process and people and culture. Strength in technology to ensure that you're maximizing efficiencies and making the most of the resources that you have and making customer experience better. And strength in sales and in marketing and brand building. Strength in all of these areas is how a great business is built. But small businesses, really small businesses, most businesses that fail are good at maybe one of these areas if you're lucky. And they ignore the other areas. They're great at sales and marketing, but they suck at operations. Or they're great at operations, but they're letting people down in customer experience. You have to focus on all of these areas if you want to build a lasting brand. But what you can't do is avoid the investment of time or energy or money or resources or whatever it takes to make it happen. If you're awesome at operations, then you know what? You're right. Maybe you're not going to be the person to lead sales and marketing in-house. But then be prepared to hire people. If you're awesome at sales and marketing, then are you calling an agency like ours to help take things to the next level and be prepared to make that investment? The investment, not the expense. Make that investment. Or why not build it in-house? Half the time when I'm speaking to people, I am suggesting them not to hire us, not to work with a company like us. It does not make sense for you to go out and hire an agency. But most people want to hire an agency because they want to throw money at the problem. You have this problem, you think it's scary, you think it's hard work, you want to just throw money at it. But not too much money, just whatever amount of money you think is right. Listen, half measures do not deliver half results. If you have to throw money at a problem and it costs $40,000 to make that problem go away, spending twenty dollars or $30,000 on that problem will not help you. It will not make the problem go away. You will just have wasted twenty or thirty grand. And so I suggest why not hire someone? You spend forty grand with us, we're gonna do all of that work in a month or two. Why not hire someone for fifty or sixty grand and have them for the entire year? And yeah, maybe the first few months might be mump bumpy. Maybe they're gonna make some mistakes. Maybe they're gonna learn along the way. But think you're taking that cost and you're getting an entire calendar year out of it. And you're building the resources in-house. So often I suggest to people not to hire an agency, but to build, to do the work themselves or build it in-house because in the long run, it makes a lot of sense from a cost point of view. Now, you may not have access to the top talent. You may not have the environment that the top talent want to come into. You may not be able to afford the systems and have all the experience that we have. That's the shortcut that going to an agency has. We have better people. We have systems. We have experience. We have the cross knowledge of all of the different industries that we work with and we're able to bring the different information from different size companies, different industries and verticals, different platforms and bring it all to bear on what you're working on. So I want you to think really hard about what you're doing. Are you prepared to invest the time? or invest the time and money to hire someone, or invest the money to hire an agency. And if you're not, what are you going to do about it? Don't turn to someone like us and say, what should I do? What are you going to do about it? You have three options. And if you're willing to invest the time, then really invest the time. Learn the systems, learn the processes, get deep into it, and take things as far as you can until you are holding yourself up. And then you're going to hire someone, or you're going to hire an agency, and now you're better positioned to do so. If you're going to hire someone, make sure you give yourself the one, or two, or three, or four months and the people you bring in and you have to fire because you don't even know what you're looking for. It's a brand new role. You're learning along the way. Give yourself the permission to try it and to fail and to bring people in and let them try it and fail. Give yourself permission to do so. And if you're hiring an agency, hold the agency accountable. Scrutinize what they're doing and what they're spending and where they're spending it and have them be transparent. Because if you find someone who will do that, then you should be more comfortable with the amount of money you're spending. You can't get away with growing your business if you're not willing to invest time or money. It will never happen for you.
And then they go, yeah, but your fees are just insane. What, what do you want? I don't know what the new endings are like, so I think we'll just go to graphics. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.